The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN. How much are you worth online? Espionage in the family, spies on Twitter, and is it safe to use Gmail? Hi, my name is Michael Bird, and welcome to The Red Couch, the show about internet freedom and security. What is the value of you online? Your social security number, identification, and credit card details are worth $5. Yes, the price of a Big Mac meal. That's how much a criminal from the cyber underground is willing to pay for your personal information, according to GigaOm. Meanwhile, 1,000 likes on Facebook trade for up to 15 bucks. Yes, 1,000 likes are more valuable than you. Popularity is worth three times as much as your soul. Spies are using the surveillance systems under the National Security Agency to monitor their wives and partners. Now, there's a certain logic to this. If you had access to all of the emails in the world, what would you do? Find out what your ex-girlfriend was saying about you. And let's be honest, what's the point of being a spy if you can't spy on chicks? This means that the wives and husbands of all government employees are now terrified <coughs> that their spouses are spending all day sifting through their emails, texts and Facebook messages. <laughs> I tell you, gentlemen, science has agreed that unless something is done and done quickly, man, as the dominant species of life on Earth, will be extinct within a year. Now, the actions of the National Security Agency have lost America's IT industry billions of dollars. They've threatened the freedoms of the American people by breaking the Constitution, and now they seek to undermine the bedrock of American society, the family unit. At this point, you have to ask yourself the question, are they working for us or them? There is no word to describe them. The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN, a virtual private network which allows you to surf the web securely and gives you anonymity online. Want to know what the US intelligence community is thinking? Well, until now, you needed a secret line of communication with a four-eyed whistleblower who risked decades in a federal penitentiary. But now, all you have to do is log on to Twitter. Intelligence community on the record. I see on the record. Or, as many web users have pointed out, I con the record. <laughs> Indicating the US intelligence has a less than respectful attitude towards public disclosure. Let's read the tweets. Civil Liberties Protection Officer's Statement Regarding Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board Guidelines, letter, colon, bit, dot, ly, slash, one, fe, big M, one, seven, big E. Wow, it's clear the intelligence community knows how to exploit Twitter's opportunities for condensed hilarity and zeitgeist encapsulating epigrams. If you look here, over 1,500 people are following Icon the Record. But this statistic is more revealing. Yes, according to Twitter, the US intelligence community is following no one. That I find hard to believe. Internet Dilemma of the Week. Is it safe for you to use Gmail? In a recent court filing, Google stated that you cannot expect your private correspondence through Gmail to be secure. Google implies that other people can read your email without your knowledge. This is like Skittles saying that before you purchase your sugary treats, it's possible that someone may have ripped open the packet, crushed in them, put them in their mouth, slapped them back, and then covered it up with tape and put them back on the shelf. This is your inbox.
taste the rainbow. It's possible that someone may have opened them, cropped them, chewed them, shot them back in the packet. 